In this tutorial, I am going to discuss the comparison between AAC blocks and red bricks. Before watching this tutorial, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to remain updated. Bricks are the building blocks of walls, the strength and durability of which is dependent upon. The old and the most common type of brick used is the conventional red brick, which are so popular because of their easy availability, durability, low cost, convenience and feasibility. However, due to the growing population, the demand for red bricks increased, which led to the drastic consumption of fertile soil. Plus the shortage of secured labor and increasing cost of fuel makes the red bricks even more expensive. That's why an alternative for red bricks had to be found, which led to the use of AAC blocks as construction material. There are various types of cement blocks available in the market. The most commonly used being AAC blocks, that is autoclaved aerated concrete blocks. For manufacturing these blocks, fly ash as a byproduct of industries is used. It proved to be a revolutionary material with a unique combination of high durability, strength and low weight. Now let's compare the conventional red bricks and AAC blocks. The size of an AAC block is 600 into 200 into 100 mm, while that of red brick is 228 into 107 into 69 mm. AAC blocks are made from the mixture of fly ash, cement, lime, gypsum and an aeration agent, while red bricks are made from the mixture of clay that is alumina, sand, lime, iron oxide and magnesia. AAC blocks are stronger with the strength of more than 4 Newton per mm square, while red bricks have compressive strength of 3.5 Newton per mm square. The weight of AAC block is one third of that of clay bricks in terms of volume, hence decreasing the dead load of the structure and reducing the damage caused during an earthquake. AAC blocks reduce the construction cost by almost 30% in comparison to red bricks, since they require less plaster and mortar than clay bricks, plus the labor cost in AAC construction is comparatively less. Advantages of AAC blocks are Easy to handle Available in large sizes, hence less number of joints which implies faster construction Preferred in high seismic zones due to reduced dead load Composed of inorganic material which helps to avoid termites, damages or losses Now the advantages of bricks Easy to handle and work with Demolishing of brick structures is very easy and less time consuming. It is reusable and recyclable. The disadvantages of AAC blocks are Production cost per unit of AAC block is higher. Plaster sometimes does not stick properly due to its smooth surface. Material is porous and would lose its properties if left exposed. Now the disadvantages of red bricks. Time consuming construction. Can't be used in high seismic zones for load bearing structures due to high dead load. And damage to environment and loss of fertile land. So this was all about this tutorial. We'll catch you up soon. Thank you.